Hi, I'm Cliff Hildreth with The Hildreth Group. When entering into a real estate transaction, you may hear some terms that don't always sound familiar. The realtors know what they mean, and the lender does too, but it's important that you know them as well. So I put together this short video just to acquaint you with the most common real estate terms you'll run across when buying or selling a home. I'll let your lender explain most of the loan terms. We'll take them in alphabetical order, so here we go. Appraisal. The appraisal is a written justification of the price paid for a property, primarily based on the analysis of comparative sales of similar homes nearby, and also recently, by the way. Broker. The broker has several meanings in different situations. Most realtors are agents who work under a broker. Some agents are brokers as well, as I am, either working for themselves or under another broker. Closing. This has different meanings in different states. So if you're talking to friends and family on the East Coast, it might not make sense to them. But in California, a real estate transaction is considered closed when the documents record at the local recorder's office. Closing costs. Closing costs are separated into what are called non-recurring closing costs and prepaid items. Non-recurring closing costs are any items which are paid just once as a result of buying the property or obtaining a loan. Prepaids are items that recur over time, such as property taxes, and homeowner's insurance. A lender will make an attempt to estimate the amount of non-recurring closing costs and prepaid items on the good faith estimate, which they must issue to you, the borrower. Although timeframes may change, it's delivered usually within three days of receiving a home loan application. Contingency. Contingency is a condition that must be met before a contract is legally binding. For example, home purchaser generally include a contingency that specifies that the contract is not binding until the purchaser obtains a satisfactory home inspection report from a qualified home inspector. Sellers may include a contingency that says they must find a home of choice before completing the current home sale. Deed of trust. Some states, like California, do not record mortgages. Instead, they record what's called a deed of trust, which is essentially the same thing. Earnest money deposit. A deposit made by the potential home buyer to show that he or she is serious about buying a house. It's important to understand that earnest money can be forfeited if the buyer doesn't perform within the requirements of the contract. Escrow. An item of value, money, or documents deposited with a third party to be delivered upon the fulfillment of a condition. For example, the earnest money deposit is put into escrow until delivered to the seller when the transaction is closed. Think of escrow as a disinterested neutral third party helping to facilitate the sale while not working exclusively for either party. A lien. A lien is a legal claim against a property that must be paid off when the property is sold. A mortgage or first trust deed is considered a lien. Pre-approval. This is one loan term I included because it's so important as part of the buying process as most sellers these days will not accept your offer unless you have a pre-approval letter from a lender. A loosely used term which is generally taken to mean that a borrower has completed a loan application and provided debt, income, savings documentation which a lender has reviewed and approved. The pre-approval is usually done at a certain loan amount and making assumptions about what the interest rate will actually be at the time the loan is actually made, as well as estimates for the amount that will be paid for property taxes insurance, and other expenses. A pre-approval applies only to the borrower. I must mention that this is not, however, a guarantee that the final loan will be approved. There's a longer process of underwriting that happens after an offer is accepted. Once a property is chosen, the loan and the borrower's financial status must also meet the underwriting guidelines of the lender. PITI. Basically, that stands for Principal, Interest, Taxes, and Insurance the four components of a monthly mortgage payment on impounded loans. Principal refers to the part of the monthly payment that reduces the remaining balance of the mortgage. Interest is the fee charged for borrowing the money. Taxes and insurance refer to the amounts that are paid into an escrow account each month for property taxes and mortgage and hazard insurance, better known as homeowner's insurance. Title insurance. Title insurance is insurance that protects the lender, the lender's policy, or the buyer, the owner's policy, against losses arising in a dispute over the ownership of the property after the fact. 
What that means in real English is if someone pops up after the sale claiming to have an ownership in the property, the title insurance generally will cover the expenses of that dispute. Well, that covers the main terms you'll probably hear when in a real estate transaction. Of course, your realtor or lender will be available to answer any questions that you may have as you move through the process. The more informed you are, the more stress-free the process will be. If you have any questions about real estate or are interested in buying or selling a home, please contact me. Even if you're not ready to start right now, I'm always available to help in any way that I can. Together, we can make it happen. <laughs>